MRD is <coughs> it just popped up uh, after an initial lag period for many years uh, as a possibility to cover all the uh, resistance mechanisms in acute myeloid leukemia in leukemia in general. Uh, so you, it's it's the number of leukemia cells which you uh, measure after therapy. And that in, so that includes uh, resistance mechanisms, diagnosis, includes resistance mechanisms, post-diagnosis. So if, if you measure that, it turns out to be a very strong prognostic factor. Minimal residual disease is measured after, after first therapy, induction uh, therapy, and it's now used widely uh, as an extra prognostic factor to uh, to define whether or not patients, for example, uh, whether or not patients should be treated more intensively like with allogeneic stem cell transplantation. It's also used in uh, a post-consolidation uh, uh, setting, meaning that you can, by monitoring minimal residual disease, you can predict upcoming relapses. Uh, so, and that's, that's going to be widely used for, uh, by, many, um, by many institutes now. And the nice thing is, or the good thing is, that we're now trying to uh, standardize or harmonize many things in minimal residual disease because it's a quite partic it's a particular um, difficult uh, way of, uh, or a difficult method to assess uh, minimal residual disease in acute myeloid leukemia. In other diseases, it's much easier, but AML is such a heterogeneous disease that you need to define all kinds of things for individual patients. And within the European Leukemia Net, we are now trying to harmonize or standardize a lot of things associated with assessment of minimal residual disease in acute myeloid leukemia, both clinical issues, um, flow cytometric MRD issues, and molecular uh, MRD issues. Acute myeloid leukemia uh, using flow cytometric method, I should say first, uh, by using flow cytometry, you're able to trace residual uh, disease cells in uh, the vast majority of patients, over 90% uh, of AML patients. That's not, uh, that, that percentage cannot be attained by using molecular methods. Uh, so this is a particular advantage of minimal, flow cytometric minimal residual disease. The problem with that is that each patient looks different as a different immunophenotype compared to the previous patient. So for each individual new patient, you have to establish aberrancies at diagnosis using flow cytometry that can be used to trace minimal residual disease later on in, um, uh, during the uh, disease. Uh, so that's the, and um, for acute lymphocytic leukemia, for example, or for molecular MRD, that's much easier because usually you have a very simple uh, type of aberrancy which is follow up, follow, followed up during the disease.